the Little Arno, Oxton Village. There's a lovely park called the Arno. Nobody knows why it's called the Arno, but they think it might have been named after an Anglo-Saxon farmer or noble, you know, thousand odd years ago. But this little park, this little green space, is the Little Arno. We'll do the Arno itself. Maybe next year when the Rose Garden's out. It's a nice little peaceful space. Over in the distance, I don't know if you can just see, there's the green fields. Uh, and in the far distance, the woods of Arrow Park. So we're quite high up. The Arno, it's, the little Arno itself uh, is Oxton Village. Or near Oxton Village. On Mill Hill. Let us have a look. Like everywhere these days, there's a lot of traffic noise. It's only a small piece of land. But quite peaceful. There's an old building there. As you can see, it's quite wooded and secluded. You don't often... Another nice old building there. We'll just go down the slope a little. Aha, I like that one as well. With all its peaks and gables. We'll zoom in on that tree. I don't know if you can see. Beautiful starting to get its fall colours. And yes, I am going to say fall. Shakespeare did, and apparently it's what we used to call... In Britain, people used to call autumn... So, obviously, when people went over to the Americas, they kept... Obviously, they called the season fall. But that for some reason we stopped calling it fall, although after the American Revolution, of course, um, the ex-American colonists carried on using that word. Um, apparently, in a lot of ways, American English is actually purer, apparently, than, than British English. It's British English that's changed more than American English. Another zoom in on that view over the fields. I am so lucky to live in the western part of the world. Absolutely stunning. I mean, let's be honest, there's not much to see here. It's just a small little park. But I just thought, beautiful fall day. Or fall day. Okay, folks. I'll wish you all the best and have a nice day.